All right, we out here about to cheer on our homies on the OB team over there lining up about to have some good fun watching the B team before we kick off at 11:30. These guys teed off around 8:30, so should be a good time. NCDGC women's champ here. This is Allison Carlton, right? Is that right? Yeah, you got From it. From North Texas. How do you feel about this week? Uh, I feel pretty great. It's the microphone. Oh. oh, I feel pretty great about this week. It's uh, awesome seeing all the ladies come out. This is the biggest tournament, we've, our biggest tournament of ladies that I've been able to play in, so it's awesome. Two time NCDGC champ. What was your best, uh, best hole of the week? I, uh, I chained out on hole three of Shotmaker. Nice. So I'd probably say that one. Got your two? Uh, no. Win OB had to take the circle four. Oh, but still it was, a great it shot. It was an awesome run. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, your two time NCDC, NCDGC champ, Allison Carl. Quick question. Um, What's up? What the heck does circle four mean? Oh, out of bounds. It's a penalty stroke. I hear you all write P's up there. Yeah, it's normal. <laughs> I hear you all circle twos. We do circle twos. That means, yeah, I got well, a birdie. We circle it. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks for talking to us. Of course. Introduce us. Okay, well, we're the uh, Ducks, 18 Ducks, uh, kicking off our final round of doubles here. We're on hole five at Old Glory. And uh, it's a little windy, not, not too terribly bad. Not a good day. And um, we'll probably be getting started here not too long, maybe a couple minutes. I think tea time is like right now. And uh, that's about it. Doug's coming with our Chick-fil-A, you know, we got that backup munchies coming, you know. And we got our bag, our caddies coming too, the caddy crew reinforcements. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Nathan smells bad. Really bad. <laughs> Not too bad, though. But, yeah, are we taking Eden's or Oz? Are we flipping or what? Should we get the flip on the vlog? Uh, you edit it! <laughs> Alright, you get this hole. <laughs> Alright, we out here. Enjoying a little Chick-fil-A out on the course. Just got two birdies in a row. Yep. We're two down after two, feeling hot. They're on that 2-2 train. We got some Boy Scouts over here. Boy Scout Troop, Colorado State. <laughs> PSU. There he goes. 
unpacking Mighty Mouse's bag. Oh. Got her. Oh, not Mighty Mouse's tadpole. There's a uh, trash can freakout guy. <laughs> Still, you guys are very cost for the grouch. Wiggle propane. Is it off? It's more classic. That's two folks. <laughs> you didn't put it in the crowd. <laughs> you didn't even have to pull it out. Oh, 100% though. Yeah, I'm still 100. Sha, dude. Sha, dude. That's a turbo. <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> Pete May, how you doing? Fine, how about you? Pretty great. What are you thinking about this tournament? I'm saying don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. Never give up. And he is off just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Pete May is leaving the building. And the disc is out, ladies and gentlemen. And it's flying. It's going at the basket. Keep it. Goodbye, Jake. Goodbye, cruel world. What up, Duck fans? It's your, it's your boy, Connor Bilal. With some late round uh, tournament action. Jake Laputka is about to receive his two time or second team All American uh, disc trophy. Uh, the B team did pretty well. Shot one over, I think, on Old Glory. The ladies team, they did play mixed and shot one down on Old Glory, which is really cool. And the men shot seven down from the black, which is also really good. Um, I don't know what we finished, but we're going to go find out. That's sick, yeah. We were on our way up here when we saw it. I think this is because the uh, vlog went viral about Pete May's Valkyrie. That's well, right. People have been pumped to get his, his name on their disc. Pumped. For the record, I don't think Pete May is ever going to Pete May is not going to die. He's going to live to at least 150, and he will be around for 75 more years making the NCDGC what as good is. as it is. You know, it's even better. More Pete May for 70 more years because Pete May lives forever. Alan Kane is speechless. Literally speechless. I don't know. He cannot believe what's going on right now. Pete May just said, Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. This is why we get life alert. The world wants to know what was going on just now. What was the bubbles? I was, what was trying that? to establish myself a new persona that I'm not overly serious. And, uh, and I think I proved that. I think you did too. What's, uh, so what were you trying to do? Knock each other we over? We were trying or? to uh, uh, remove gravity from the other one's feet. Mm, so you're it trying to... Anti-gravity, the anti-gravity machine. So that means that this guy beat you. 
Uh, uh, it, I felt like it was more of a sumo. It was a sumo, sumo standoff. Deal. We yeah, think it was a sumo, sumo, sumo standoff. Yeah. Sumo but standoff. He outweighed me though, and that was did, the unfair I, side. I he had an un pounds. We're not in the same weight division. That's, okay. So it was really Our a practice match. It was unfair. It was unfair okay. slightly because yeah, of different age division. I'm a super middleweight, and he's a yeah, middle. Like, he's well, probably a bantam weight. A bantam weight. Bantam weight. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you guys for letting us know. Straight to ESPN if it was me. Straight to ESPN. Straight to ESPN. So just so everybody knows, the girls mixed team, Awesome Possum, beat the Oregon B team. Went one down at Old Glory. What are you doing right now, Riley? The distance Riley, 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 Riley. Drama. Alright, Riley. What? What does she choose? Um, a 156 Blizzard Boss. Okay. Another 156 Blizzard Boss. Okay. 161 R Pro Boss. Okay. A 133 Blizzard Boss. And because why not? A 168 Colossus. Because <laughs> I'm not winning. So which, which one do you think is going to go the farthest? Maybe the 133. 133 Boss. Got it. Riley! 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 Here with disc golf legend Merle something from Monterey Bay. Merle, thoughts on the tournament this year? It was another great year. Thank goodness the rain abated and the women pulled through with solid, consistent golf. Yeah? Champions. Parker leaving the action to get in the action. Good luck, Cece. Go hit an eight. Thoughts about this high quality green? Number of corrals makes no sense. Either one or three. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, do we hear that? Even number of corrals makes no sense. From the pro himself. One or three. And uh, that concludes our 2016 vlog series. Thank you uh, so much to uh, everyone that watched, everyone that helped participate in film along the way. It was super fun. Hopefully everyone enjoyed those as much as we did. They were really fun to watch, and uh, hopefully they make up for the lack of full round coverage that we had this year. Um, little summary, uh, A team, we finished 16th at Nationals, so pretty solid B team. Had a lot of fun, finished solid, got better throughout the week. A-team women's played a mixed team with a girl from Colorado State and a girl from Arkansas, I believe, and they had a lot of fun. Finished real good. Riley made the distance final, so that was cool. Um, we finished 16th, but we ended up finishing the best in the Northwest and West region, which is pretty cool, so we think we're going to be playing in the Dean's Cup at uh, USDGC coming up in the fall, so pretty jacked about that, and... Uh, you know, that's it's a really big deal to be able to play at that course in that tournament. So we're pretty excited to represent the West Coast there. Um, yeah, pretty much that. That's kind of the wrap of our season. Um, thank you to everyone that helped us get here and helped us along the way this season. Shout out to our sponsors. We got the Corns Family, the Graphic Shop, DG Nomad, um, DGN. Huge shout out to those guys. Um, U.S. Bank helped out along the way. And yeah, thank you to the if anyone at Club Sports is watching, thanks for all your help this year. Thanks to everyone in the community, come out, play all our events. It helps so much, and it really means the world to us that you guys would support us, to help us reach our dreams, and uh, hopefully we can uh, do it all again next year. So uh, thanks, guys, and go Ducks. <laughs>